crossing 80 metres in 5 degree water. After patrolling 30 kilometres across challenging terrain in adverse weather. You're tired, wet, cold. This is what the soldiers of Three Rifles have to do on exercise Cairn Patrol. The exercise Cairn Patrol is the battalion section patrols exercise which is being held in Edinburgh over the Pentland Hills. They start in sort of the southern Pentland region and they move from there over about 40 kilometres over very sort of undulating terrain and then they're doing patrol skills, so they'll do communications, medical, vehicle recovery, recce, all these different stands that they're doing as they move all the way to their FRV. We're building that esprit de corps within the section and we're pushing the, the riflemen uh, and the commanders sort of to the point of failure, but, but within a controlled environment. The wet gap crossing is the part that many of them dread. After hours in the hills and many miles of walking, the eight-man sections must negotiate the obstacle. The teams are up against the clock to complete the course, so there's no time to waste. It's the uh, first time I've ever done one, so it's uh, quite different to actually get in the water and actually conduct it. Yeah, it's, it's, it was a good experience, but quite challenging on how cold the water was. Despite the soldiers' training, Crossing water like this is still dangerous. That's why the diving experts of the Royal Engineers have been drafted in. They're on hand to keep an eye on the riflemen in case they get into any trouble. With fatigue a major issue by this stage of the patrol, nothing is left to chance. Four people maximum in the water at a time, one weak swimmer at a time in the water. Um, reason for that is I have a safety boat which needs to keep an eye on the weakest swimmer. If any of the strong swimmers get hit, obviously the safety boat will have to react to them as well. While the thought of plunging into cold water fills many with dread, just crossing this challenging landscape is tough enough. A 40 kilometre course crossing several peaks, carrying 25 kilograms on your back. In all sorts of weather. I've only been in for two days and it's, it's been hard on that for the, the past day or two. But the rest has been good. I hope I've done good the past day because I've been done out for a walk for two days. Well, 12, 24 hours. So, yeah, it's been hard on that, but it's crazy it out and get through it, isn't it? And at regular intervals, the soldiers are given scenarios to negotiate. They're given points on how they perform which will decide the overall winner of the competition. Here they're treating simulated casualties from a blast in a minefield and are tasked with recovering a vehicle that has been stuck. All vital skills went out in the field. Fairly straightforward tasks on their own, but when you've spent all night out on the Pentland Hills, fatigue plays a very big part. The patrol itself I found really, really challenging. I thought because I am really good at uh, fitness, uh, stuff like that, uh, I thought that I wouldn't struggle, um, but obviously I kid myself. Um, probably about 12 hours in, definitely started feeling it. Exercise Cairn Patrol aims to equip these soldiers with the skills they need when they deploy, pushing their training to the limit to ensure they can perform when it matters. But it's also about getting them to work together forging the working relationships in the sections they will rely on in the future. David Civils McCann, Forces News, The Pentland Hills. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to our channel.